I'm Patrick Vandersand, I'm the Columbus City Administrator. I'm Mayor Michael Tholm, City of Columbus, uh, Wisconsin. My name is Reagan Rule. I'm currently the Council President uh, for Common Council here in Columbus. Some of the big, bigger box stores have been able to take advantage of a loophole in uh, state rules that allow them to have their uh, property values and their assessments uh, be measured against other similarly sized buildings, but they're dark, they're, they're vacant, they're not operating. So they're, they're arguing that their value goes down and thus their uh, property tax burden to the city goes down as well. And so what the, the, the city and all of our municipal colleagues have uh, come together to, to say is that's not fair. Um, if it's a thriving and functioning business, it should be taxed and, uh, and valued at those and considering those factors rather than because it's a building that's similar to a building across town that's empty. And the real risk is that um, a corporation could come to our community and say, hey, we need to look back as they did in Waukesha. They took three years and then going forward, their property values were also assessed to be lower. So that's money is that the community has already taken in and expended most likely. Um, for projects and everyday running of your of your local city. The city's seen some development up to the west. You know, we may have some bigger buildings with uh, commercial uh, uh, enterprises going on. And so we want to make sure that when they do come to town and uh, any any other business that is in Columbus that currently could fall under the current rules is uh, not going to negatively affect what we do. There's consensus right now at the state level to bring these bills forward. There's been a uh, committee vote on the Senate side, a unanimous vote to bring it forward on one of the bills. However, there has been limited action at the assembly level. Uh, they're kind of waiting for the Senate to act first. Uh, there's uh, been a lot of co-sponsors signing on even up until uh, this past December. There's still new co-sponsors that are signing on, so it's definitely a bipartisan effort. Uh, and in my opinion, it, this really isn't a partisan issue as it affects every municipality, school district, uh, county level, uh, all the way down to villages and uh, you know smaller communities than Columbus. When you're looking at, you want your goods to get to market, you want folks to get to your market, and you need um, staff and employees that are well trained. All of that comes through property tax. You know, you need the infrastructure to get folks there and you need public education to get folks trained for them to be able to be your retail clerk or even higher up the chain. Um, so it's to me, it's just it's about community partnership. If you're an open store in a thriving area, um, we should be allowed to rely on our local assessor and retain that local control when it comes to assessing our own property values. When uh, the League of Municipalities, Wisconsin Municipalities, alerted uh, their members of this issue and the importance of it, uh, the city council, the mayor and city council here uh, latched onto it as something that's very important. Our city council, with the support of our mayor and our city administrator, um, put forth a resolution um, that we sent to our state senator, who is also Senate President uh, Fitzgerald, and Assembly Representative John Jagler. And basically the resolution is just calling these guys to action and to um, vote in favor of closing the dark store loophole. And that's basically the long and short of the resolution is just voicing our support from the local level, asking them to allow us to retain that local control in assessing property values, especially retail and commercial property values. But I believe it's about uh, fairness. Uh, I, I believe that you know, we all pay taxes for a reason. I don't think anyone wants to pay more taxes than they need to, but it's about uh, being equitable uh, to everyone. We put a lot of work into our city budget every year to make sure that we are providing the services uh, to our residents at a fair price, and we put a lot of focus on that. Uh, so I think having one property in, in your community that wants to reduce their value by 50% or more by comparing it to an uninhabitable property in another community is just unfair to everyone. Uh, as I've told people uh, in speaking on this issue, it would be like me having the value of my home compared to an abandoned property in a different community. And uh, I would be uh, paying my taxes ba based on a valuation that would be unfair to my neighbors. So if a large box store in this community were um, to pursue um, 
kind of capitalizing on the dark store loophole that exists now, it would be a big negative impact on our community. First off, because they can go retroactive, they can go back a certain number of years to claim, reclaim tax monies that were already paid for and again, most likely expended in the community. Um, community's not getting any cheaper to run. The only things I know of that get cheaper year to year are pizza and burgers. So the streets, the sidewalks, all this stuff is just, we need it to be improved. Stuff ages, it deteriorates, that's a fact of life. So if we have dark store loopholes being enacted or taken advantage of in our community, that property tax has to be replaced somewhere. Now, a very uncomfortable conversation is going to be with the property owners in our community that own rental properties, residential properties, industrial properties. We would have to make up that difference somewhere because, again, it's not going to get any cheaper to, to operate our city year to year. It's only going to get more expensive whether it's social media, email, calling, um, all of those have real impacts on our legislators. And the fact right now that they're looking to just kind of stall the bill, if I'm gonna kind of read the political tea leaves there, um, I think that leadership would be a little nervous about the vote passing and us closing that dark store loophole. Um, for it to sit in committee for the next two and a half months after it's already been written for the last nine months is, um, is disappointing. Uh, to bring it to the floor, let our reps vote on it, let our state senators vote on it, and let those chips fall where they may.